Hi, I'm Derek Hopper with Principal LED. I work in the engineering department, and today we're going to go over how to wire in the T35A RGB control system from Principal LED. Today, we are going to show you how to wire in the Principal LED PL6012U power supply into the T35A control system as well as the LED amplifier. These are two separate systems, but they do work together, and we're going to show you how they work. The first step is going to make sure that on the incoming side of your power supply that the incoming voltage, whether it be 100 to 277, is turned off to avoid any high voltage exposure. The next step is to take your positive and negative terminals out of your power supply and insert them into the terminals and screw them down into the incoming side of the T35A. Once those are secure, you will come to the output side and accordingly color code and match each of the wires from the module or light tape into each of the terminal. The top one is always going to be your positive, which is your gray wire. And as you can see, followed by blue, green, and red. next step is you're going to come down to the amplifier and perform the exact same steps, taking your positive and negative from your power supply and inserting them into the DC plus and DC negative on the incoming side of the amplifier. This will provide power to this entire set of LEDs. come to the output side and perform the same steps as before. It is important to mention that between the controller and the amplifier, the order of the colors is different. Whereas your positive wire is still going to be on top, the controller goes blue, green, red. This one goes red, green, blue. And I will address how to make sure that you keep it the same between the two momentarily. Now that we have the power supplies and the LEDs connected to the controller and the amplifier respectively, the next step is going to be to make sure that the controller speaks with the amplifier. To do this, you do not want to take the leads coming out of your LEDs after a run and run them into the input side. If you do this, you run into a problem where the signal from the controller is so diluted by the time it gets to the amplifier that the second string connected to them does not perform as they should and it is not synchronized together. So to bypass this you will need a second strand of RGB wire and you go to your output side and you connect them into the same outgoing terminals from your controller. Take these leads and bring them down to your amplifier. Now, as I mentioned before, the series goes blue, green, red on the outgoing of the controller. All you need to do is make sure that you go into the corresponding one on this side. As long as the incoming and the outgoing are the same, it won't matter that these two have different orders. As long as blue goes to blue from here to here on the output into the input, and then as long as the input to the output on the amplifier all match up, you will have no problems.
Now that all of our wires are secure, we can turn the main power back on going into the power supplies. And as you can see, we can cycle through even without a remote. The T35A has the function to cycle through modes on the controller itself. And to test to make sure that all of your connections were made correctly, you can cycle through. And as you can see, everything is synchronized between the two as it should be. Similarly, when using a 120 watt PL120-12-U, you need to make sure that each leg is treated as a separate 60 watt power supply. While the instructions do stay that these controllers can take up to 200 watts, it is important to note that that is out of a single output. The 120-12-U is not meant to have their leads combined and can cause a problem with both the controller and shorten the lifespan and warranty of the 120-12U. Thank you for joining us today on how to wire in the PL6012U and 12012U into the T35A control system with amplifiers. For more informative videos, please go to Principal LED's YouTube page.